All right, this is another video here. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, making new types of arrays. This will be integers arrays here. So let's get started. This is uh, Visual Studio 2013, as you can see here. Uh, I'm going to make, whoop, I was doing some stuff earlier. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to make a Win32 console application here, and I'm just going to call it integer arrays. And actually don't want this in my projects, I want this in my examples so I can upload this for you guys later. So there we go. Alright, so my little fun wizard pops up here. Precompiled header, I can leave that, not a big deal. This is something that you might not see, I think, if you're in 2012. I don't know, it's been a long time since I had to do any sort of... Uh, uh, any sort of uh, C++ application, I guess it's been since uh, first year of college, so so yeah, it's going to build. Alright, so actually that went pretty quick. Alright, it's going to be a good morning. Okay, so first thing we need to do is uh, we need to include our I.O. stream and we need to use our default namespace and first thing we're going to do then so yeah, if you don't remember how you declare arrays, you need to give it a data type, and then uh, you kind of need to uh, give it a pointer, and then you need to either declare enough space for the memory. Um, I believe in C++ you have you can't have dynamic uh, memory allocation unless you're doing some sort of generic type. So in this case, all you got to do is just uh, in this video we're going to use integer arrays, and you. That is not the right syntax. And we're going to call this int array. Oh, array is a safe word here now. Uh, what, what should we call it? I'm just going to call it ARR, I guess, for right now. Int array, give it a little pointer, equals new int. And I'm going to give it 10. There will be 10 spots in there. Why 10? Well, you'll see in a minute here. So. We'll do something else kind of fancy here. If you know arrays, hopefully you probably know loops by now too. So let's make a loop just to fill this array. So I'm going to say for int i is equal to 0, i less than, uh, let's see, we'll do 10 for right now, and i plus plus. Okay. And there you go. And this coding would be the same too. Um, if you're using anything like Eclipse or anything like that. There isn't any difference. There's just a different look in the uh, IDE. There is no actual difference in the syntax. So, All right, so anyways, yeah, so I'm just, let's just fill our array. ARI is equal to I, right? And let's, let's do a little printout to let us know that it's filling up too. Let's do a C out uh, array. I'm going to do I. is equal to i and line. Yeah, and uh, if you're just starting out programming, you'll learn. I use C out a lot. I use a lot of console output. Why? Because it helps you kind of do some pre-debugging. It lets you kind of, as you're working through your problems, lets you see what's going on in the background. And kind of remind yourself that, oh yeah, I'll be doing a loop to, uh, to fill the array. So. All right, so let's. I'm just gonna build this really quick. And do 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 do. Generating code. Let's see, yeah, it gives us this nice little output here. Okay, so I'm gonna debug. I'm going to start without debugging here. And there we go. Sweet. All right, so we have uh, ten values and arrays. Yeah, the other thing you'll notice is that. Um, the index starts at zero, so there are ten items here. If I asked how many items are in this array, it would tell me ten, which can be kind of confusing a little bit when you start using arrays. You're like, holy god! All right, so so the index uh, well is equal to the same value of the index, so you can see that the ninth index is equal to nine. That's because we've designed it to do that, do so. And that's cool. It works. That's functional. That's efficient, I guess, for what we want for the purposes here. So pretty slick. So yeah, I, I assigned each one of these values into the array, and that's an easy way to display it. And notice, yeah, I just I just declared the data type, gave it a pointer, these are called pointers, 
um, I'll maybe put a video really in depth about discussion or I'll leave it up to you to do a little research on your own if you really want so yeah data type pointer uh, variable name like anything else and then I declared in what's called a uh, memory location pulls uh, memory from the heap here to uh, puts on the stack so that I can use it and this is says I'm gonna I'm expecting now an array with 10 integer items in it and as we got here so and you'll notice here too if I if I did this as 11 um, so I'll tell it to put 11 let's see oh that did not well that's not right either not what I wanted it to do up rebuild solution here save and re clean rebuild all right start without debugging so zero one two three four five six seven so there's 11 items in here now and we can see that it didn't throw an exception why is that well if we do some debugging here let's see let's see what happens and debug start debugging this is a little maybe video. Maybe I won't do any debugging here. Maybe I'll just leave it. <coughs> Actually, maybe I'll just leave it at this, and maybe I'll do a different video of debugging. So, but yeah, you can see this is how you locate and display just some easy memory. So, hopefully, that's a quick little video on some integer arrays. Maybe I'll do string arrays. That's a little bit different. It's actually a length and string of characters. So, all right. Thanks for watching.